Hello, I am Dr. Hari Ramacharya. I am the clinical director, senior consultant neurologist at the Department of Neuroscience at Narayana Health City, Bangalore. I am going to talk to you briefly about one of the very common neurological problems prevailing in India. At least 1 to 2 percent of the general population have seizures or epilepsy. Now, what exactly? First, it is important to understand what is a seizure and what is an epilepsy. Now, seizure is an abnormal electrical activity happening in a particular area of the brain and that electrical activity suddenly burst of electrical activity spreads to the other areas of the brain resulting in a series of abnormal clinical manifestations. Sometimes these abnormal manifestations may take the form of simple jerking in one part of the body or sometimes just a tingling and numbness lasting for one or two minutes. Sometimes the patients may have sudden distortion of their vision. At other times the patients may hear some strange um, sound or strange sensation coming over their body. At other times, especially in small children, they may get confused, disoriented for no apparent reason. And in between these episodes, after a few minutes, the patient may become completely normal. When the patient has these kind of manifestations without loss of consciousness or even if there is a loss of consciousness, if it is happening for a very brief period of time, we call it partial seizures. Now, in contrast to the partial seizure, another type of seizure is called generalized seizures. Now, this generalized seizure means the electrical activity is going to spread from one particular area and spreads to the entire area of the brain, in which case, usually the patients are going to have an initial grunting sound, following which they are going to bite their jaw, clench their jaw very tightly, bite their tongue, frothing comes from their mouth, whole body becomes very stiff then following this after a few seconds patients are going to have jerking activity in their arms and legs the whole episode may last for about one or two minutes slowly the jerking stops then the patient starts breathing heavily they are they they are abnormal movements everything stops but the patient may get confused disoriented lethargic, tired for a few minutes, sometimes for half an hour, sometimes for one hour, then they will recover completely from it as if nothing has ever happened. Now, this is called the major motor seizure or generalized seizure. Now, this is what is seizure is all about. Now, what is an epilepsy? When a person is having recurrent episodes of seizures, which are unprovoked, without any provocation, if the patient is developing a seizure, after seizure, that is called epilepsy. Now, every single seizure, when episodes happen only once, most of the time the epileptologist may decide not to treat it, just observe the patient. When it happens as an epileptic manifestation with the recurrence of the seizure, those patients will need to be under the treatment of an epileptologist. Now, fortunately, in the department of Narayana uh, Health City Neuroscience, we have two excellent epileptologists who are the neurophysician. We also have two epilepsy surgeons to address the needs of the epilepsy patients. Now, what exactly do we need? What, what exactly do we do for this epilepsy patient? Most of the patients with epilepsy are treated with medication. There are different kinds of medications available now. Most of these medications are very safe and the patient need to take this medication for two years, three years, sometimes four years. Occasionally, in certain epilepsies, they may have to take the medication forever. Now, 70 to 80 percent of the patients will respond to the anti-epileptic medication as long as they remain compliant with the medications and taking their medications regularly. Now, despite the best efforts of the epileptologist, sometimes in about 20 to 30 percent of the patients may not respond to these medications, in which case, these patients with epilepsy are going to be evaluated for some surgical procedures. Now, the field of epilepsy is so far advanced and I'm happy to say we have excellent functional epilepsy surgeons in our department who are epileptologists and these epilepsy surgeons will, will evaluate the patient and discuss all the options available for the patients with epilepsy to control their epilepsy. And quite a lot of the patients after the epilepsy surgery is done can be completely cured from their epilepsy even though this may not be an option for everybody now there are certain things that you need to know about the epileptic seizure most important thing is do not 
panic when you have epileptic attack do not panic all you need to do is to make sure that the patient is turned to one side and make sure that the patient is not injuring himself or herself and clean their mouths of the any clean their oral area or the mouth a facial area of any secretion so that they don't drown themselves in the secretion you should not try to open the mouth of the patient. You should not give the keychain to the patient or any iron object to the patient. Or you, are, you, you should not even slap the patient and pour water on the patient. All these things are unnecessary and sometimes harmful. So you should not be doing all, the, all those things. You have to make sure that the patient is comfortable. Because majority of the patients, after they have had the epileptic fit or a seizure, they recover. And more information about the epilepsy how we are treating, how we are evaluating, what exactly the epilepsy is, what are the myths that are happening in epilepsy, you can go to our neuroscienceindia.org website. I repeat, neuroscienceindia.org website to get the complete information. There, our epileptologists have written excellent articles for you to refer to. And epilepsy is not like in... 50 years ago, now we can do a lot of things for the epilepsy patient and so that they can lead an independent functional life. They can get married, they can become pregnant and hopefully in the near future once the epilepsy is cured, they may be even able to drive to their work etc. Even though currently in India, the regulation states that epilepsy patients should declare their epilepsies to the licensing authorities, they are not allowed to drive. Hopefully that will change in the near future. So epilepsy is not a stigma to be attached. Epilepsy can be treated very effectively with medications and in some cases with the surgery. So please do contact us for any further information and get the benefit you deserve if you are suffering from epilepsy from our epileptologists and epilepsy surgeons. Thank you.